Now, I was outside Buckingham Palace when the news of the Queen's death broke at 6.30. The atmosphere was solemn and surreal as the well-wishers who had gathered were left stunned and clearly saddened by the confirmation of what we had all feared. I spoke to a few of them to get some immediate thoughts and feelings about our great monarch's passing. There is an airy silence here at Buckingham Palace tonight. Just moments ago, the flag lowered to half-mast, confirming the news that the Queen is dead. People are obviously very shocked, very emotional. Not many people are speaking at all. We know that we are witnessing a historic moment. I'm a huge fan of the Queen, a great royalist. I believe in the, not only the tradition she upholds as you know, as, as the Queen, but also as someone who committed her life to, to duty and dignity and integrity. And I think those will be tremendously large shoes to fill. How, how are you going to remember her? Well, she was absolutely fantastic. And like I said, she never put a foot wrong with anybody at all, did she? And uh, somebody to totally look up to and never going to have anybody like her again, I don't think so. There's a palpable sense of emotion here, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt this is the most culturally significant event of any of our lifetimes, probably combined lifetimes. And I work just around the corner and you could not come be here. It's so, it's so important, I think. And I think just the amount of people that have come here in the last 10 minutes, let alone the rest of the days, testimony to that. She lost her husband not so long ago, Prince Philip, and uh, I think you could say it's the end part of uh, English history. I'm sure that the world is, uh, is going to mourn her death.